Hello, Jenny Morris here, and I'd like to tell you how I started writing The Thing on Mount Spring. I've held a love of verse and poetry and rhyme since school days, but over the years with a family and full-time work, my thoughts were set firmly on just getting through each day. Then I retired, and our first grandchild was born. Here was the incentive I needed to ponder on whether I could write a children's story for her and for my own amusement. Then to really test myself, why not write it in verse? What should I write about? Gazing out a window over the dry and crispy Aussie bush, inspiration came. Of course, write about something you know and love. The animals that share my home area would surely enjoy adventures and I had so many to choose from. Also, I wanted a story that had animal friends helping each other in adversity. This they did, with the story slowly evolving into The Thing on Mount Spring. The Thing had hopped in to join them too. From the valley came a clanging and a noisy ballyhoo. Strange metallic thumpings with a yell of glee, woo-hoo! A cacophony of dissonance that grew and grew and grew until a clanging, swooshing stranger strode into their view. I was hooked on writing and loving the challenge of thought to word. Then the icing. I made the decision to engage an artist. With Sarah Hyatt's wonderful pictures, the story bloomed. And I wondered if anyone other than my family might like it. I found a book coach who was very encouraging and so began my foray into the literary world with ebook and audio adding new dimensions.